previously on In That Number. Do it again. Practice was a family affair for some of the candidates. I get my dancing skills from my mom. <laughs> and one vet suffers a scare that could put her at risk of losing her spot on the team. My foot kind of totally twisted to the side and I heard a crack. With final additions finally here. She's got good energy. It's time to put up and get down to see who will be in that number. We are at finals. This is the last performance and we are ready. Yeah. Does not ever want to hold a curl. People with curly hair are like, I wish I had, I had a, like straight hair and I'm like, no, no, no. you don't. Let's go, baby. I was ready. This is a jinky tape job, so thank you so much for filming. It's okay. It's gonna I love hopefully it. not have sound on it. <laughs> this is my spot, excuse me. <laughs> I've been having a lot of nerves since I woke up, but uh, we all started getting together, got together around 3 o'clock today, started getting ready. I started feeling a little bit better, but now since I'm here and I'm dressed, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> oh, I love this girl. How are we feeling? Today is always a day where I feel super anxious. Um, I think these decisions are never easy. Um, for those that make this team and they get that news that they are going to get to be a part of this experience, it is, you know, one of the happiest days of their life to date. But for my athletes that don't make it, that I know that I'm about to, to crush, I don't like that feeling. That is never a good feeling because I know how hard I worked growing up to get where I was. I know how hard these athletes work, worked to get to this point um, in their in their career, going into this process, knowing that I'm gonna have to make those tough decisions tonight, um, you know, just big ball, big ball of anxious energy, for sure. <laughs> so everyone may exit, everyone may exit, one through three, y'all can wait right here at the, you know, not quite inside yet, let's make sure judging is good, but y'all can wait right here. Good job, coach. I think it's really important that people maintain eye contact with us. I think it's important that they get all the moves right, because at this point, once the season starts, they're not gonna have a lot of time to learn the choreography. So this whole process has really been designed to figure out can people learn quickly and pull it off. Performance is just it's all so it's good. good. Like she gets into it. She so makes good. you want to she, get into I it. she makes you want to watch her and know. Um, this overall experience, I loved it. Like it was such a great experience. I learned a lot from different people. I met different people. So in the end it was worth it. Whether I made the team or not, I was it all over again. Alright. Good job. So during the Calypso, the little leap in our dance, my ankle twisted. My foot kind of totally twisted to the side and I heard a crack. And I rested all day yesterday and hopefully today I'll be able to push through with it. It's in just a little bit of pain, so I think I'm gonna make it. Jessica um, is someone that her performance is there. I think she's someone that knows the placement. She knows the details, but when she starts performing really big, she loses that cleanliness sometimes. I'm not gonna lie, over the past couple days, I've been like pretty chill and pretty like, let's go. Um, today, I let my nerves get to me a little bit this morning. And I think it's because today is the day that I've been working towards, you know, um, Getting past those rounds were definitely challenging, but today I know I'm with the best of the best, and this is the day I've been working for. Um, I think today I realized how bad I wanted it. 
just go out there and do what I know to do and just have fun with it, honestly. Like, have, like this whole experience has been so much fun to me and like, I'm just, do what I know to do and have fun. Five, six, seven, eight. I don't know what's going on. What happened? A little upsetting there, friend. <laughs> just kind of got let my nerves get the best of me. Like, I mean, I, I knew that dance up and down. Like, I was helping teachers to some people, and like, I was like, okay, like, cool, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Then I went out there, and like, I just, I blacked out. And that almost never happened to me. I just told him, stay out of your head. You know, you're extremely talented. You've done the choreography over and over and over again. You got this. You had a moment, but that's okay. I just want him to focus and don't let that particular incident, you know, go forth in the rest of his audition. I don't do a lot for myself. Like a lot of times, like, and this was something I did like solely for me. And it means a lot. It means a lot to me. Like it means a lot to me just to be here. But like it would mean even more on my team. Like so. Last year audition to this year, I'm like, holy I, love you. I killed both dances. I'm so, so proud of myself. The energy was amazing. I could tell from the judges' facial expressions that they really enjoyed me. So I feel like once I land this stunt, I'm there, baby. I'm home. So let's wait to see. We've got to get it together. Take that breath. Uh, I'm dedicating this to my mom, Data Falgu. She, you know, she gave me, and of course my father, they gave me a second chance in life. Uh, this is for all y'all, my family. You know, this isn't just for me. Giovanni didn't really give me that emotion and that, that kind of um, excitement, but it'd be something that we would be excited to see that develop over time if you were to make the team. Uh, Y'all should be super, super, super proud of yourselves, yes? Yeah. Now it's the easy part, now you get to go and relax, and we have the hard part now of trying to narrow this down. Thank you. Pray for us. Uh, the hardest part is, um, one thing we have to do is we have to judge off their tryouts. I mean, and unfortunately we know some of these people, we know what they've done in the past, but we have to judge off their tryouts, and it's just hard when you know that they've done better. It just didn't show out today, and we have, you know, we have to make a decision. Unfortunately today, some of my vets are getting cut, and um, I'm not looking forward to, to those, those phone calls, that's for sure. So today is a very big day around here. We are very excited to finally let our finalists know if they have been selected as a part of our um, Sage Cheer crew or not. Um, we're about to start making calls right now to some of our hopefuls to let them know if they have been selected. So I am excited. I am filled with a lot of anxious energy and I'm just ready to get going. Let them know. So our first call of the day is going to be to Destiny, and I am so excited to call her. I think her energy is incredible, and I know that she's going to be so excited to, be have, select, to have been selected for this team. Um, so yeah, I'm excited that she's our first call. How agonizing has the wait been? Uh, it, it's been, whew, 
the way has been hard. <laughs> it's like every time an email come up, you're like refreshing, 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 and you keep thinking it's it, but it's not. It's like touch smart or something. So it's been very stressful waiting. It's a lot. It's a lot of nerves, a lot of excitement. It's just been hard. <laughs> Sorry, one sec. Our camera's being a little weird. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> hey girl! Hi, good morning. How's your day going? It's going good. I just want to say, you know, from our perspective, from a coach's perspective, you, to me, had a phenomenal standout audition. And I think you were so much fun to watch throughout this entire process. And we are really looking forward to seeing you continue that in the Dome. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm very excited. I'm so happy. Obviously, my email hasn't gone out yet. You are our first call of the morning. You are the first one to find out that you have been selected as part of this team. Thank you so, so, so much. I'm so happy. But congratulations. All right, we'll see you soon. Thanks is a huge part of my family, like a huge part. Actually, we're remodeling the house and my mom's bathroom is black and gold. So <laughs> that should tell you how big this is to us to be going out there to look at the dome from the floor up and then being one of the first ones to find out. It's just, it's an amazing feeling. I will see you on the sidelines. I am in that number. Yeah. So we are about to call Tyler and let him know that he also has been selected for this year's team. Um, he is one of the most genuine people I think I've ever met. Um, and I think we might get some tears out of him. I think he might be a little excited. Well, hello. Hello. Well, hello. <laughs> hello, what you doing? What's happening here? I'm getting trimmed. I'm on set for a movie right now and yeah, making me look good. Well, that's amazing. Were you expecting to see me today? I was not. I was not. Not at all. First of all, you know your tumbling is insane. It is, oh my gosh, like you tumbled for that first time and I went, what did he just do? What is that called? What was that? <laughs> um, I know you were nervous coming into it, but that did not show in your audition at all. Um, so I guess for me, what I wanna say is that we're really excited to see your tumbling um, in the dome as part of our 2022 Saints Cheer Crew. <laughs> okay, 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 I got all cast out, I got all cast out, oh my gosh. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> I'm so serious. <laughs> Thank you, I promise that you will not regret it. I promise. Did you make it? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I promise you will not regret this at all. I will not. I know I won't. I'm really excited to have you be a part of our organization. Y'all got me. Y'all got me with that one. Y'all got me. Like I, I was not expecting her to be on the camera and like, oof. Like, I had to contain myself because I was really like about to like do a flip in front of everybody. Like, I'll see you on the sidelines. I'm in that number. We're about to call Raven. She is um, a veteran hopeful, and she um, actually suffered from an injury during our finalist training camp. She twisted her ankle, and I know how difficult that was for her because she was very nervous that her injury was gonna prevent her from making the team or really showing us what she had. Hi. Hey, Raven. <laughs> how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm How's your day going? You. How's it's your ankle? Good. Oh, it's doing a little bit better. It's, um, it actually, like I could point my foot a little bit more and flex it a little good. bit more, but it hurts to a certain extent, but it's getting a lot better. I've still been taking care of it, so. <laughs> you have come so far in your confidence yeah. and you have improved so much in that area that I was so nervous going into finals that you were gonna let that be a mental block for you, that you were gonna, <laughs> you know, be so worried about your ankle that we were not going to see everything that you 
had yeah. for us. You know, I, I, I that was a concern for me. But I think you did a phenomenal job. I think you had a phenomenal audition, and I'm really excited to congratulate you on year two. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm tearing up. <laughs> don't wait, no, 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 no. You're gonna make me cry. You know how I get when one of you guys cry, I cry. Don't. To hear that from Sarah, it like just reassures everything that what I'm doing is good, and I'm working hard for it. So. So this is the picture of uh, me and my brother with my biological mother um, two weeks before she passed. So this is the picture that really pushes me to work hard. This is for her and this is for my mom now. I'm like, I'm ready. Like I'm super anxious. I was calm for the past couple of days, but then ever since they told, they emailed us that we were gonna know today, I was like, oh Lord. And now it's like hitting me. Oh God. Surprise. Oh Lord, hey so. <laughs> How's your day going? Really good. I woke up nervous though, and I'm like shaking right now. So I think for us, we just want to um, continue to see growth from you. We want to continue to see you, um, you know, work on work on your skills, work on your tumbling and your stunning. And we are super excited to see you be able to do that in uniform as a member of our 2022 Saints Cheer Crew. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I told myself I wouldn't cry, so. <laughs> when other people cry, I cry, so just warning, you'll probably see me cry too, it's fine. Are you excited? Yes, I can't wait. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> We're super, super, super excited to have you. Um, I think this is gonna be an amazing experience for you. Um, I think you are so coachable and you are just someone that takes everything that's told to you and you run with it, you work on it, and you, never settle for where you are now. You are constantly pushing yourself to keep being better and keep hitting skills that you've never um, tried before. So I know that you are going to excel on this team and I am so excited to watch your journey on this team. I've loved having you so far in this process. So this moment for me means a lot to be able to congratulate you and tell you that you've made it. It means so much. I, I know like, I was pushing myself from the start with my injuries and, and my mental state, but it nothing, like I said, nothing will stop me from from proving that I can be I can be one of the best. I, I can, you know, show what I can do and prove that I, I deserve to be where I'm at. You know, it just means so much to me that that I've I've made it this far, but I still have a lot more to to, to show. I'm just proud of myself. So now at this point, if I don't make it, I'm, I'm still gonna be happy because I did it. I completed my mission. I came here with a goal, a mindset, and I did it. Right there. Okay. Okay, cool. Good job, brother. You did so good. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Hi, Octavian. How's your day going? Oh, you're on the call now, so it just went to 100. <laughs> <laughs> Breathe, breathe, woosa, woosa. I think you have a heart of gold, a true heart of gold. Unfortunately, you were not selected this year to be a part of our cheer crew. Um, okay. But I just wanted to jump on. I want to talk to you because I want you to come back. And I just want to give advice from a coaching perspective because I know this is not easy. This is not hard. No's are never easy in this world. And I've gotten quite a few of them in my life. So I know how this feels, right? From now until auditions next year, this is what I want you to do. I want you to pick which skill set you really want to dive into. I know you've tried out for both. Which one is your heart drawing you more towards? Because that's what I'm going to talk about more. Or is it either? Or are you like, I want to do it all? Yeah, she is definitely something I want to continue. So it's something I'll definitely work on uh, for next year for sure. I was very impressed with what you did in the short time that we had with you. So there is no doubt in my mind that if you focus on that this year, you can get those elite stunts that some of our other bases were, were throwing this year and come back and earn your spot. I think our fans would love you. I think you have a personality that you walk into the room and I mean, you light up a room. You, you truly do. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. So I want to see you on the team one day. I do. I want to see you be a part of this organization. I want to see you reach this dream because I know it is a dream of yours. So this to me 
even though it's a no today, is not a no to forever. You better be that first name that I see come across my email oh, yeah, when we yeah. put out audition applications out. Yeah, I appreciate it. it, it it's, 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 um, I'm okay. I, uh, save my tears for later. <laughs> But um, it's good. I'm, I'm, like I said, I, I told a lot of my family that I don't think there's anything else I could have did that could have prepared me more. So I'm very proud with what I did for that. Just coming back and getting this far and, 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 and just even trying on the uniform, experiencing that team experience was truly amazing for me. So, you know, I definitely am not um, disappointed at all. Yeah, I'm going to take everything and soak it up like a sponge and she'll see me next year. <laughs> So this journey for me has been not only uh, trying something that I completely never thought that I would be doing, but also just um, finding a new uh, confidence for myself, finding a new uh, love and appreciation for uh, you know what I can do, what I can offer, and if anything, that's something I'm definitely gonna get out of this. We are just arriving at Jessica's house to let her know that she has been selected as a member of our stage cheer crew. And I am so excited to go pop by her home because I guarantee she's not expecting me. Obviously, I'm very nervous about today. Um, the anticipation has been a little crazy. It's just, it's been a rough two weeks and I'm thankful for everybody who's dealt with me. I'm anxious. for a second hope you don't mind oh my god <laughs> how's your day going it's you're great having i'm having a great day you're very <laughs> warm well i'm just popping by hello everyone um <laughs> obviously you're talking about your audition yes. and how you felt about everything um we were very impressed with your audition from start to finish i think you have a natural performance quality about you um that just draws you in from the beginning makes us want to watch you and stay on you and i think um, that's something that can't be taught. That's something that comes very naturally and it's from your heart. And I think that is going to translate so well on the field this season as a member of our <laughs> cheer crew. I just wanted to come congratulate you in person. <laughs> well, welcome to my house. This is my mom. Hi, mom. I'm Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. This past year has just been kind of rough, uh, you know, being a healthcare worker in COVID, um, you know, being part of Hurricane Ida, all these things, you know, just kind of toppled on and, um, you know, kind of took over for a bit. And that journey at the end of last year up to now, I'm just, I, I can't even put it to words. Like this is, this is huge um, for me, for my physical, mental health. Uh, I'm just excited. I, I love this version of me and I'm excited to put it out on the field and show people why I do what I do. Um, yeah, I'm kind of at a loss for it. <laughs> I can't wait for the moment that I can point on the field and say that's my life. Alright, are you wear these, you don't wear it open, you wear it like this. So keep that in mind if you don't want it tighter. This is like, it's like I'm dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> it's real, it's happening. It feels unreal, it doesn't feel real. I literally feel like I'm like floating and like I don't know what to do. <laughs>